All right, everybody, welcome to the first lesson in Bear's Guide 205. Today, we are talking about map projections and distortions. Now, the goal of this video is, by the end, not only understanding what map projections are and distortions with each type of map projections, but we want to be able to compare the advantages and disadvantages of different types of map projections and look at the dif different types of distortions. I apologize for the bell in the background. So what is a projection? First off, a projection is this attempt to take our Earth, this spherical Earth, and put it on a flat surface. But you can't take a sphere, cut it, and put it on a flat piece of paper without some type of distortion happening or some type of inaccuracy. Um, you can try it for yourself if you don't believe me. I promise uh, you won't be able to do it without stretching the uh, cut up sphere itself. So over time, uh, different geographers have come up with different projections of the planet for different purposes. Obviously, they have their strengths and weaknesses, and we're going to go through a couple today. So our first projection we're looking at is the Mercator projection. This is focused on mainly navigation. Um, the strengths are the fact that the world is accurately drawn. It can be used for directions. This is the same projection that like Google Maps uses because right turns are right turns on the map and you know everything has right angles and it's really clean and easy to read um, all the lines of latitude and longitude as i mentioned are all at right angles so it's very simple you know where you're going unfortunately the distortion or the weakness with the mercator projection is that while um, direction is not affected it's good for direction it's really bad for distance um, because you don't get a clear sense of the distance in between continents. Also, the land masses near the poles look a lot bigger than they should. Uh, the example here would be Antarctica and Greenland are just absolutely massive, and we know they're not actually that size. All right, moving on to our Peters projection. This is a little bit easier. The Peters projection is really straight. All right, up next we have our conic, conic, I'm sure it's uh, interchangeable. General use is the mid-latitude countries. That just means that we're looking at countries above the equator and below the equator from like this weird angle above that it shows in the picture. Um, it's really great because the longitude lines uh, converge at the pole. Uh, your latitude lines are curved to make it look real. The size and shape is everything really close to reality. This is a great projection. Really everything is perfect except when you get to direction. Direction can be a little inconsistent and remember you're only seeing one part of the planet so that itself is a distortion. That's a problem or a weakness of this is that you don't get to see the longitude lines converge on both poles because you're only looking at one of them. And then finally we get to our Robinson projection. Uh, this is our general use projection. It's the one you see in classrooms. It's the one you see everywhere because its major strength is that it doesn't have major distortions. Um, it's close enough where it distorts everything. It really does distort everything. Area, shape, size, direction, all of it's slightly distorted to make it look as realistic as possible. So this is the one we generally see. This is the one you'll see in my classroom. Um, this is the one you'll see probably 99% of the time. So that's it. It's a really straightforward video and really, really simple. So what do you need to know? Basically, know the names of your different types of projections, be able to match them to examples of that projection, and know their strengths and distortions. I don't want to say weaknesses because weaknesses is vague. Distortions is the vocab word associated with projections. So remember that projections is the attempt to take the spherical earth and put it on a flat piece of paper. Distortions are where it gets messed up, and there has to be an acceptable amount of distortions with all map projections. So that's it. That's the first episode to Bear's Guide to a 5. Really short and straightforward uh, lesson. I mean, under five minutes. So make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit subscribe so you know that when new videos release that you can be up to date in the course. And if you ever have any questions, you can leave them in the comments section. Until next time, this is Bear Guides to, Bear's Guide to a 5.